Dear viewers, I'm planning on making some changes to my channel, so please give me your feedback and suggestions in the comments section as to what you would like to see more of on this channel. And now, on to the video. She said she meant human company. I said that she had lots of company at work and school and she was welcome to use our place to socialize all she wanted. She then spelled it out because I was stupid to think she was a decent human being. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, am I the a-hole for breaking up with my girlfriend because she told me she would cheat on me if I took a new job. But before embarking on an expedition, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. I know this is going to come across as a first world problem. I'm currently at a job where I earn about $250,000 a year. I have an opportunity for a job where I will get $640,000 for a year. Well, congratulations, my brother. Not all of us break into the six-figure club. The caveat is that the new job is overseas, and I will be gone for four months at a time instead of four weeks at a time. Well, before you go, consult a tax attorney to make sure you take full advantage of the legal loopholes regarding offshore income and asset protection. My girlfriend is unhappy. She says that she doesn't want me gone for that long, that she will get lonely. I try to explain that I would only be doing this job for one or two years and that money I make sets us up for a bright future. We can pay off all our debts and we can buy a house and we can travel on my off time. Okay, logical, reasonable, long-term thinking as to what is best for their future as a couple. However, I will point out his girlfriend is all up in her feelings and she wants what she wants now in the short term. Interesting. She then said that she didn't care about any of that and that if I'm gone for that long, she might need company. I didn't understand at first and I said that she could get a dog that she's been wanting to get. She said she meant human company. I said that she has lots of company at work and school and she was welcome to use our place to socialize all she wanted. She then spelled it out because I was stupid to think she was a decent human being. She said that she wasn't going to go for months without SEX. I said I completely understand and broke up with her. Manly pat on the back. You conquered that, like a ninja breakdancer and a room full of bubble wrap. Take note, guys. This is how you handle this. The most powerful thing you can do is to walk away and don't change your mind. If you don't do this, it shows her weakness and you have invited all manner of her pulling crap down the road. I'm sure he thought he had a great girl, but she revealed herself in her solipsism. It was all about her and she completely missed what the guy was doing for them. This is what a man is supposed to do. Look to take care of his future family. And what did she do? She crapped all over it. Why? Because she was all up in her feelings. And like a child, she wanted what she wanted when she wanted it now. A woman like this 
is not the kind of female you want to marry. If you are a marriage and kids kind of guy, she will not get better. If anything, she'll get more selfish and self-serving and emotional and irrational behavior will get worse. I have to wonder, what did you do to teach her that she could get away with this in the first place? I mean, the very fact she felt safe to say this to your face is an indicator she sees you as weak, a nice guy to be manipulated. If she sees you as weak, then you can rightfully assume she has cheated on you or is currently doing so. If this is true, then she doesn't love you, nor will she. Remember, if she doesn't or can't respect you, she can't love you the way you need to be loved. She's going crazy now. She is at her sister's house calling me and texting constantly. She says that I misunderstood and that she would never cheat on me. Bull crap. When someone tells you who they are, believe them. The only thing you could have done better was the moment you ended it, you needed to control the narrative and put out what happened before she did her poor me victimhood spin on things. Pay attention, guys. I know, as a rule, most of us don't like to act like a biatch and don't care what other people think or have a need to put our personal lives on blast. However, in cases such as this, always and immediately get the story out as to what happened. If you have chat, video, or recordings, send out what you can legally send so there's no doubt. Count on 8 out of 10 times she will lie to her friends and families to spare her reputation from damage. Like I said, I'm gone for a month at a time now so I'm pretty sure she's been pretty lonely before. I can't trust her, and I'm not going to try and build a future with someone who can't think about plans. No, my brother, you cannot. You cannot select a woman like that, and you are not an a-hole. As a matter of fact, now is the time to look at, consider, and date foreign women where you'll be working. Think of this as a way you get paid to be a passport bro. Take a step back and look at what was in her that attracted you. Then you need to take a hard look at yourself and ask, what was it in me that I was attracted to a cheater? Because if you don't answer those two core questions, you will end up here again. Except maybe next time, it will be after she's baby-trapped you. Side note, should you decide to go the marriage and children route, learn from this and see a tax and estate professionals about putting your assets into a protection vehicle that prevents them from being considered a marital asset if the unthinkable should happen. Often, you can get a sense of a woman when you tell her, no prenup with an adultery cause, no marriage, and watch how they react. The real devious will wait until the day before the wedding to suddenly change her mind because she knows or thinks she's got you. Personally, the wedding payments don't start until it's signed or no deal. The wedding is off. No amount of bitching from friends and family will change it. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this with at least three friends who you really need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. 
I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out my occasional memes, or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos and give a comment or a thumbs up. This tells the algorithm to share my video with other people. This also supports me so I can make more content for you.